Welcome back to OD5. This is Chris coming at you. See, I broke down and, and bought me a little tool here. Uh, for those of you that don't know what this is, this is a sand flea wreck. Uh, here in Wilmington, North Carolina, they sell these at Dick's Sporting Goods. I was very tempted to try to make my own. You can see that the uh, the, great, the, uh, the grade on here is very similar to like a fry basket. If you have a deep fryer at home, maybe you have a basket that you're not using anymore, uh, you might go that route. But uh, I almost did. But I broke down and did the real thing. See, so far I dug a couple of times. And there in my bucket I have some baby sand fleas. And if you've been visiting on my channel, you know my sand flea video, how to uh, use sand fleas as bait. Uh, it's my number one video right now, so go check that out if you haven't seen it. But uh, I'm going to see if I can get a couple more here. I have my beautiful wife acting as camera lady today. Shout out, boo. I'm not getting any telltale signs today of where they are, but uh, they are actually in the, in the uh, break here, just like right in the uh, wave. But usually you'll look for a little uh, disturbance or a lump in the sand. Uh, shout out to Susan, uh, my uh, sand flea coach. Uh, so I'm going to dig here a couple of times and see what we get. That's our kids off in the distance playing in the ocean. I did see some action here, so let's see what we got. Oh, we left the bucket over there, didn't we? My understanding, right there. these aren't like really big. So my understanding is these are really good size for like sheep's head fishing. So I'm gonna experiment with these some. These are about the same size as fiddler crabs would be. So it makes sense that sheep's head might uh, maybe not be intimidated by these. So anyway, maybe once you get them a shot of your pretty toes. Look at them, they're running away. Oh my gosh, they're running away. There's another one. Sand flea escape. I had all kinds of them in the bottom of the uh, bucket there, didn't realize it. So my sand flea rake is uh, it's working. So you can see there, there they are. I'm trying to see if I can get a couple that's a little bit bigger. All right, camera lady. Follow me. You got the steady cam? I am All good. Right. Follow me, everybody. Do they bite? Huh? Do sand fleas bite? Not that I know of. Have you ever been so you've never been bit? I did see one at the top. So we got some. That way. Yep. Not, not, they're not huge today. That one's a good size. That one's a good size. Actually, we'll be doing a little beach fishing tonight. So I'm going to take some of these with me. That's pretty cool. Still looking for some chunkers though. Some people eat a lot of things, but that doesn't mean that you should uh, go after them. Hey, exotic food. Escargot. Uh -huh. Oysters. Certain kind of animals like that people oysters. keep as pets. I love raw oysters. Some but people, some people the raw oysters are delicious. It's like as you said, there's a nice 
Let me rinse them off. That's a real good size one. That's the biggest one yet. So weird. It's bluish. Yeah, they have a little blue color on them. That's Crack crazy. them open just like a blue, a blue crab, I guess. All right, let's see what we got I in the basket. So this weird. is the last one. So just, you know, do one more here for you. Probably edit this together. But. Thank y'all for taking this little journey with us. This is my first day uh, using my new oh, fancy wait. crate. It's and uh, I have success. Or should I say we have success? Who's we? Thanks to my camera lady. Sincerely, Kimmy. That's a nice one. If you haven't checked out her channel, go check it out. Alright. As always, be kind to the fish. It's Chris signing out. We'll be five.